everybody, it's Vampire Chicken, the Grandmaster at the Game of Risk, back with some more Classic Fixed. These are the settings that I play probably most often, and hopefully, hopefully we can turn this into something really, really fun. Now, green does potentially have a better play here than me for Europe. You think that's going to stop me from going for Europe? Well, you would be dead wrong. I'm coming in. And I'm coming in hot. Actually, pink is going to go for this, right? But maybe I can convince green to go for it. I don't know. Get around green when I don't know what to do. <laughs> the answer is quite simple. Post up in the middle of Europe and just hope that people aren't willing to fight for it. If green is willing to fight for it, who knows? Purple's going North America, so they accept. Look at this god spawn Australia. I don't know if you can call this God Spawn North America, but if yellow purple player sends me a heart, you know, you know those purple players. I know you too well, purple players. I know you too well. Green does go. Okay, so by hitting green up here, I was hoping to convince him to go fight pink. Yeah, 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 yeah. So green is going to be the Australia player, which is fantastic news for me. <laughs> but they're actually just slamming right through this. Let's go. Jay Edwards. I like your style, man. I like your style. So what I'm hoping that I can communicate to... Yellow is that, you know, don't punch my four and I'll sneak out. Uh, if I were yellow, I'm a little bit of a psycho. I get six troops going last. I'm punching my four. I'm taking what's really mine. But if they're calm and chill, maybe I slowly do get out of here. Now, pink, they were going for Australia, I would assume, by birthright. Are they going to fight for it? Are they going to quit and bought out? Are they going to go for Africa or something different? You spawned with so much in here. Don't let green get away with it. You still have a pretty big claim for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They come in, they bring the four out. They're going to come fight green. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's go. General Bowsley. Yeah, so if this Australia slam fest happens and I'm able to post up in Europe, here's the power of Europe. It's so flexible. Get your four out, please. Thank you very much. Uh, now, I can even let green get out so green can go out and go fight. Uh, <laughs> green and pink, they're getting into the fight. But then I'm the lurker. I'm the lurker. Of course, purple does want to go for North America, General McGruff. And we'll see how crazy they go for it. I like getting out of yellow's way because now yellow can come down and yellow can start going into South America. Red, you're, this is for Africa. Red hits my three, General Shimomura. Yeah, I did expect it. It doesn't mean it didn't hurt, but I did expect it. Let's see how yellow plays this. Our ally, Calm Kitten, blasts my four. Ah, so I lose a three and a four. Ah, and everybody gets really bad dice hitting me. Dang it. <laughs> That's very painful. So I'm down to 16 troops. And I'm actually the weakest after the very first turn. Ah, I just was in everybody's way. And even alliances couldn't save me from losing troops. So that is painful. My natural play is to come, I think, to Ukraine. Yeah, green can take a card here and fortify troops down. I'm coming into Ukraine. This is just the power square. This is where you want to be. And then you guys can get into your Australia smash fest. Let's get these guys together so that they don't have to die. Uh, hopefully pink gets these three down and I can bring these guys in. We're going to have to play it a little bit more sane than I really wanted to, based on the fact that we did get hit pretty hard. I was looking for... I'm looking for Australia, obviously. Uh, I am blocking green from maybe his most desired route to getting into Australia. But yeah, they can do this and they can clear out. They can bring these guys down. So I do have some opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then teach Pink a lesson. Get your troops together and then teach him a lesson. Go for it. Really good dice, maybe? Good enough. Green takes Australia. So Pink, I'm assuming, is going to have something to say about it. Why they hit me randomly, I guess it didn't really, it didn't really make sense in the grand scheme of their strategy. But I lose another troop there to Green just because just he just wanted to hit me. 10 on 5. Yeah, Red is laughing. I guess they've uh, they've seen this one before. Have they seen the Australia Noob Slam Fest? <laughs> I know that I have. And if you're a subscriber, you may have seen this once or twice. And if you do want to see some Australia Noob fighting, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. The channel's been growing a lot lately, and I'm very appreciative of it. I, I love how much uh, people have really been enjoying the videos lately. So thank you for subscribing. Anyways, here's Pink fully removing... 
Olive Green from Australia. Green is going to be very weak. Uh, maybe I can somehow get involved and entangled in this. We have to choose the right moment, though. If we're going to go get involved in this Australia Slamarooski, do we really want to get entangled now? Oh, they leave the door open. That's cute. <laughs> they don't go back because they know that they're just going to get hit again. Possibly by me. We'll see how it goes down. So a turn and a half here are in the books. Um, let's see how aggressive purple is about going for this stuff. Is green going to be able to break bank? Probably. Okay, purple is poised to maybe take this. So you hit my three. Oh, but you're not going to like just smash everybody else randomly? I understand. I see how it is. How come everybody else gets the smash treatment? Okay, so yellow is able to hold this. Yellow is going to try to be a good a good little South America player. Coming down and then uh, getting out of the way. Yellow's exterior is in Europe and a little bit in Asia. But I guess they're going to be good neighbor with pink. You hate to see it. Would love to see yellow bully purple here. <laughs> Just not let them get North America. Be the aggressive South America player. And, but maybe that's not what's happening. You're going to randomly hit me. Oh, you're actually just going to be nice to me for some random reason. Okay, cool. The overly nice South America player that's going to probably let Purple take and hold North America and is even giving up that so that I can take you up a little bit faster. Okay. Insanely nice play. Uh, a little bit too nice for a lobby that I want to be a part of, if you ask me. Back to me. So I think green is going to come down and break. No, green is a bot. Okay, so if I want Australia, the time is now. Guess what? I do want Australia. <laughs> Just guess, hey. Guess what? It is for me. I'm the Australia guy. Red, get ready to laugh. Let me offer pink an alliance. And I will give them one chance to come on out. If that's how they want to do it. I'll give them one chance to come out. What do I care? So green has bought it out. So I know green's not going to break pink. Pink might death fight this for me. But I do offer them an alliance and I give them one chance to escape. But they might not do it. Bot is going to take Europe. And somehow I'm about as strong as I was after the first turn. My god, this bot takes Europe. This is great. Because what I think we have here is a bunch of passive players. Like, so three people are fighting for Australia, me included. But then you got like all these, what I think are going to be passive players. Red is just down here, slowly waiting for a chance to take Africa. Yellow took this, but they're insanely good neighbor. Purple is setting up to take North America. I don't know. Maybe they're a bad guy. You guys have to deal with this. Now, I don't know that pink is going to leave. But I give them the option. They decide not to leave, and they do a little six on seven. I think they're saying Australia is for them. But then they do leave? They don't leave. Okay. They do leave. Victory. <laughs> cool. So Pink does flee the scene. They don't want to fight for it anymore. They want to try to survive. And I declare victory over Australia. Another Australia won. So I'm going to take it. I don't have a trade-in. With a trade-in, I'd feel really safe taking this. I'm going to take it, and then if Purple has a trade-in, I guess they are going to send in to me, and my game is going to be over. But that's the risk you take. If you're not a psycho, you shouldn't be going for Australia. Purple takes now. They're going to wait for a turn in, right? They've been playing kind of sensible so far. The spot is actually going to be bigger than Purple thinks. The bot could break a five. Because the bot's going to be getting eight troops and possibly has a turn in. And nobody's going to, like, focus on the bot. And I'm happy to have a bot in the middle. One thing about Australia is if there's a giant bot in the middle, that's actually amazing. Because I'll be in Australia. Okay. Red removes Pink's exterior. Very aggressive play by the player next door to them. And they bring everybody out. Okay, Red actually could be coming for me. Very aggressive play by them. So they removed Yellow's exterior because they're trying to convince Yellow to hit Purple. Let's see if it works. I don't think it will. I think Purple is just going to chill. No, wow. Okay, incredible play by Red. Because now Yellow decides to go bad neighbor to Purple. This could be a war. Red is actually maybe poised to win the game and nobody's paying attention. 
Because Red just needs to kill basically the both of us. I'm going to save these troops, and I'm going to wait for a turn in, because I don't know what Red's true intentions are. So I'm going to bring these down. Pink might have a turn in and try to mess with me. Red also may be trying to kill me and Pink. And the bot could do just about anything. I'm also trying to get these troops away from the bot. Hopefully we have a trade in. We do have a big trade. If we survive one turn, then we're going to be fine. Let's hope that we survive one turn. It's not obvious to me that I do, especially if Pink has a big trade and they are willing to slam a nine. Because if Pink slams this, then I die to red and then possibly Pink dies to them as well. Pink doesn't accept my alliance. But we did scare him out. Okay, cool. Don't hit my three. Go up. Just go up, bro. Just go up. Go up. Seek greener pastures up ahead. Or take a card in Africa and chill out. What are they going to do? Randomly hit my three or something? Yeah. Okay. So Fink is still a problem. And I'm not going to be able to kill them with my trade because I can't get to this four. So they're just mad at me. Okay, obviously. Because I took their Australia. So they're hitting my three for no real reason. <laughs> this is the problem with noob fights. Is It's just not a very good move by Pink. Okay, because now I have to kind of remove you. I'm, I'm turning in, bro. I got a big trade. I got a big trade. I just want you to know I got the big trade. I can't kill them. If I could kill them, then this would be great. Uh, Can I make an alliance with red? I'm, I just want them to know that I'm trying to kill Pink here. If I could turn in and kill Pink, my life would be solved. I'd get another trade in and I'd be... I'd be in prime position here. I don't think I can kill red. If I could kill red, I could kill pink. Let's see what red does with this trade. So red should be looking at how many people have four cards here. <laughs> if red can kill me, he can kill pink and probably win this game immediately. Ah, oh, but he goes into the bot. That's insane. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? He's not going to be able to kill the bot. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the bot. The bot is worth killing. This might open up a line to very psychotically try to kill Pank. Am I going to be that strong? So I'm going to be getting 10. So I get 13. This is going to be a 20, 21, 22-ish. I think I'm strong enough to kill Pank. My math is a little off. What's 10? <laughs> 10 plus 3 is 13. Plus 9 is 22, right? 22 to take out 14 plus this 3. I have to deal with Pank. And I get a trade in if I get it. And then if I can turn that into a kill on green, if I get a big trade kill on green, okay, but yellow might do something crazy. Uh, I mean, maybe we can go psycho here. How come you guys... I think red could have like possibly done something incredible there but they didn't so we need to we need to kill pink into the kill on green let's hope that we get the dice let's get some good dice here those are not the dice come on these are not the dice we need this kill though we need this it's gonna be tight come on we need this Seven on four. Let's go. Big trade kill on green? No. Pathetic trade. Probably not killing green. Oh my god. I'm not killing green. With a big trade, I was killing green here. Uh, I'm chilling. Somebody else can have that. Okay. So I'm still insanely weak. But I, I had to get rid of pink because obviously they were a giant problem. I do have a ten trade. Okay. So the bot turns in. I don't think red will kill me. It doesn't make any sense for him to even try. Red can't kill me. Theoretically, yellow... Yellow doesn't have a turn in. Yellow's not going to kill me. I'm going to survive, and I'm going to get another turn in. Okay, great. Great! I think we've won this Australia war. But with a big trade, I was taking out green. We were going to be... It was going to be amazing. <laughs> amazing stuff would have happened if... Got slightly better dice and slightly better cards. <clears throat> but isn't that uh, isn't that always the case? If you always got the good dice and the good cards, you'd always do better, wouldn't you? Uh, purple's going to turn in. Can uh, They're not turning in. Okay. They're going to turn in next time. Oh, they do turn in. If they slam yellow, this game's, like, going to end. Because <laughs> it's not going to work out well for purple. I guarantee it. They only lose seven. Wait, where are these dice? 
How come I don't... Where is this dice pack? I need my, my stack active. My stack being buried is not particularly good. Now, is Red just smashing the bot? What is Red's goal here? I don't quite have them figured out. They don't have a trade for a while. But this slam is about to happen. I just need my stack active in here. I think I need to be here. Yeah, I think I just need, I need to be in the Congo, the heart of darkness, so that when these guys kill each other, which is happening presently, I need to be ready to make the kill on yellow and purple. I just need to just greedily set up to make that kill. Because yellow's going to have three cards next time, next time I run into him. And purple's also, like, dead. And red not, like... Well, I mean, he can kill yellow and maybe purple as well. But we're setting up to win the game. Okay, I'm going to set up to win the game. So I'm going to... I need to kill yellow on the next turn. So let me fake people out. They think I'm just chilling. Jokes on all of you. I lose one troop. You know how it goes. I think this is where I need to be. Now I'm active enough that I can go hit everybody that I might need to. Is red going to attempt to kill purple for only two cards and on five? That would be very bad for them. I don't think there's much red can do. Unless red can kill purple and yellow. Without a trade-in, that's not going to be possible. I don't think there's anything red can do. Okay, evil bot is coming to steal my bonus. <laughs> the bot's really spreading out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything red can do to interfere with my plan of, of just killing everybody. Once you get Australia, the game's over. But you gotta be aggressive. You gotta you gotta stay you gotta stay in the zone. Okay, purple's probably not getting a card here, but we can hope. Oh, they might get a card. Holy cow, four on two. Yeah, wow. Purple gets a card, which is actually great for us. Okay. So yellow and purple are imploding. Red's going to end on three cards. He's going for the kill. This doesn't give him a, a set unless he can kill both of them. Red is moving really fast. Red is has some some sort of skills. Okay, now he's going to go for... Is he going to go for it? Yeah, he is. He's not going to get it. Ah, oh, he's going to feed the game. Dang. Okay, well played, I guess, to him. I can't kill green butt first, or can I? Not without a trade. Okay, so I just have to go kill purple. And then I think I have to kill red. Unless I... Because he's got five cards. I can't let red survive. Okay. I don't think I can be nice. But that's... I think red's fault. <laughs> I think red could have done other stuff to make it so I didn't have to kill him next. Uh, so let me... Oh, I, sh I, would, I was going to set up to remove this. Let's let him know that this means war. Oh, I'm going to get some horrible dice. And I'm not going to be able to kill him on this turn. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and put those bad boys down here. He can turn in and do whatever he wants. Uh, he's actually going to die to the bot, isn't he? I fed him to the bot. Ah, oh, that's actually perfect. I did mean to leave a couple here so I could kill Red. I saw this. Uh, I kind of messed that up. But that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> we'll let the bot get the cards. And now all we got to do is outplay a bot. How hard could that be? But bot's going to steal one of my bonuses. I think I'm going to get to keep South America, but I think I'm losing Australia. Or it's just going to... Is it... Okay, it is going to break. It's not going to just take like Asia or something insane. <clears throat> but we should be able to easily do this. It's 28 troops to 48. Bot's not turning in. But here's how we're going to play this. What a fun game. All my games lately in Classic Fixed have been an incredible amount of fun. And that's why I keep doing it, baby. I, I'm trying to play as aggressively as possible, taking all sorts of risks. Here, we went kind of psycho for Australia. That was part of our approach. <laughs> Let's see if we can try to get it back. Ah, slide better. See if we can try to get our, our bonus back here at some point. That's fine with me. That's completely acceptable to me. Uh, we should be able to hold a bunch. So I've actually caught up and surpassed the amount of troops that the bot has. It does have a 10 trade, wouldn't you know it? It's going to put up a little bit of resistance. Uh, but usually these bots don't play particularly well compared to human beings. But uh, it does seem to be on a little bit of a rampage. Wait, that's a fantastic move with great dice. Into the break. If it breaks my North America... We can pretend like it has a chance to win. And I don't have a trade. So look at all this luck, dude. The bot is getting the trades. The bot is going to be able to hold Australia, most likely. 
but it doesn't break me in North America and it doesn't take Australia. So what a stupid bot. It doesn't know nothing, man. Uh, we'll try to take a bunch of Europe here, I suppose. Uh, bam, wow, what are the odds? Wow, I'm psycho. You gotta be psycho if you wanna win games of risk. Uh, you'll never get past that guard, okay? You'll never break my North America. Three for the bot. When I get a turn in, I should probably be able to eliminate it, but there you go. Um, I've been doing this where I play very aggressive, hoping to try to make really fast games of Classic Fixed. And as long as you have one or two people that are willing to really throw down, here we had two people fighting for Australia, so I got involved in it. I became a third person fighting. Then we had two people fighting over the North America, South America complex that's going on over there. Uh, so that made the game a little bit interesting as well. And if you got a couple people making the game a little bit interesting, you can, uh, yeah, we'll risk that. Do I actually have enough to, to do this on one turn? I don't even think that I do. But let's see how much damage we can do. Uh, if there's a couple people making it interesting, why not get involved yourself and, and, and help, help make the game as interesting as possible. Play fast games of Risk. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you play crazy like me and it doesn't work out, but... As long as you're focused on all of the eliminations, sometimes when it does work out, it feels so sweet. Just like this one. So I had a really fun, this was a really fun game. In my mind, this is why I want to play the game, okay? I know we didn't follow the textbook. We weren't good neighbor. We didn't take a card and pass for infinity, uh, <laughs> creating relationships with a bunch of, you know, other players. No, we just came in. We smashed like a psycho. We, and then we ran away, okay? We, we walked into the store, we broke all the windows, we took the loot. We're out the store, okay? We're down the street in our getaway car. And uh, we had a lot of fun. I'm gonna guess that, uh, who was it, Red? Red was probably intermediate plus, everybody else was a beginner. Novice! Wait a minute, Purple was the expert. There you go, you never know what to expect. And if you wanna expect the unexpected, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for my next unexpected adventure.